Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and I also need to welcome myself back because I have been gone for about three months I don't know if you guys still remember that about half a year ago my apartment got broken into and they stole my cameras and a bunch of other stuff and my apartment got broken into again about two weeks ago and this time they stole my laptop but they didn't find my camera so I still have my old camera to film a video um, but I recently got a new laptop after they stole it and finally I have stuff to edit my video so I can upload a new one. So, but that's it. I am kind of over that already. Even though I know who, who was a thief, you know, it's one of my neighbors. Like this really suspicious guy that one day when I went to work I forgot something and I came back. And when I opened the door again to leave, I found him just face to face with me. <laughs> by the door and I caught his arm reaching for my doorknob which was quite suspicious because there was no reason for him to be outside my door since he does not enter this building through my hallway you know he lives on the other side of the building so all of this I I called the police I told them my apartment got broken into blah 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 and I kind of know someone is really like a suspect but I don't have any evidence and I don't think I lost enough stuff to be taken seriously and the police officer literally came like five hours later since I filed the report and they told me that there's really nothing they could do which I already knew of but anyway and this time they stole my makeup bag as well like how strange is that why would you steal my makeup bag but 90% of my makeup is gone right now you know, people have been playing with this tag that what would you buy if all of your makeup is gone? Well, it happened to me. So uh, in the future, I'm probably going to show you like what stuff would I repurchase after my makeup is stolen. So that in, in, in that case, it will be like for real, you know. So anyway, I'm really excited to share this um, all of these products with you guys. Most of the products that I'm going to talk about is skincare. Uh, I've never had really good skin and there are always so many problems, you know, I used to have a lot of agonies but recently, I think right now, I'm really happy with my skin. I never had like a clear skin ever. Uh, right now, I still have some spots and some agony scars but that's it. I feel like my skin is really healthy and some of the products definitely that I'm gonna mention later it's definitely just game-changing products. So I really hope you guys are really excited to see my video again. I promise I'll film more often. So let's get started. The first few products that I'm going to talk about are AHA products. I have been using AHA products for about half a year. And that is definitely the most important step that I did to have a clear skin. And this one is from Paula's Choice. And this one is the Resist Advanced Smoothing Treatment 10% AHA for normal and dry skin. I use this on a dry skin after I wash my face. And this one is definitely very strong. The percentage is 10%, which is quite a lot. So if you never used like an AHA before, I kind of recommend you to start with a lower percentage, maybe... Uh, start with the 2% but you will definitely see a difference when you are using a 10% and I have been using this kind of thing for a really long time so my skin already got used to it uh, it's not like I don't feel the tingling that much but you will definitely feel a little bit so this thing will just get rid of all the dead skins on your face it will be great if you like have spots on your face or you have the little bumps on your face it will get rid of it it's a pretty strong acid and I love using it in my uh, skincare routine every day. I really like the AHA percentage in this product because 10% is not like it's super strong because I have seen 30% AHA in the market before and also even though the consistency is pretty thick but it can be absorbed in your skin really fast and it doesn't matter if you're gonna put on other skincare as well. One thing to keep in mind when you're using an AHA or a BHA uh, skip the vitamin C serum because vitamin C also helps you to exfoliate your skin. I don't think these two things can go well together and I've read it somewhere before. I use this about two or three times a week, uh, mostly just at night because I don't use chemical exfoliator during the daytime under the sun and also remember to wear a lot of sunscreen and even though I like this a lot, I think if you're gonna 
by AHA, this is a pretty good choice because it's quite affordable. Uh, I think I got this for about 20 something dollars from Paula's Choice website. They usually have great sales. I definitely think this is a really cost effective AHA in the market. You will definitely see the result after one use. You wake up the next day, you will notice the difference. But this one, I don't like the scent of it. It, it has like a vinegar smell. And if that's the case, if, if you are really bothered with the scent, I highly recommend these things. These are the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Extra Strength Daily Peel. These kind of peels is really convenient and hygienic. It has a two-step. Um, they're all exfoliating peels. I think the first one is to exfoliate. This one is to give your like to give a boost to your skin to regenerate new skin cells. And I really like this. This is my favorite chemical exfoliator ever because. It's really, the consistency is really thin. I'm talking about like the liquid in this pad. Uh, it's just, it feels like water. It's, it do, it's not sticky. And you just use this in a circular motion on your face and then wait about two minutes and then use the step two. And then you can put on whatever skincare you want to follow up. This one is quite expensive. It's 88 bucks for 35 pads. And I go through this really fast. I bought the extra strength one and even though it says it's daily peel, but I don't use this every day because even though it doesn't irritate my skin at all, it doesn't give me a, any breakout, but sometimes like the little corner on my nose kind of got irritated. So I don't think I need to exfoliate every day. I just use these two products interchangeably and I feel like I own everything to chemical exfoliator, especially AHA. The next product is this eye mask from Wonder Beauty. I'm really interested in this brand and I was kind of surprised when I found this product on Sephora website. There are six pairs in this whole box and it only sells for $24. It's not like it's something super affordable, but you guys know everything about the eyes are just kind of overpriced or expensive. Six pairs of eye masks. Masks for $24 is a pretty good deal because uh, it's really high quality. It has gold foils, you know, gold foils on top of the mask. But it's not like, oh, let's just put some gold foils in it to make it more fancy. It's because that type of material can prevent the liquid from vibrating. And so it can lock down all the good stuff. And it also, uh, this mask, I remember, it doesn't move, it doesn't move around, not unlike any other eye mask out there in the market, it doesn't move. So you can just shake your head, you know, just do your thing. It won't drop down and it's not like super liquidy. You feel like there isn't enough liquid, but it does have some kind of technology behind it. I highly recommend this, especially when you're buying an eye mask and this kind of she masks are pretty expensive and the ones from Shiseido, you know, they're the pink package one. I really like that as well, but that one is really, really expensive. But that one has retinol in it. It's 100% retinol. Um, I feel like for hydration, that one might be a better choice. But this one is just a really soothing, comfortable mask. It helps your under eye baggage a little bit and dark circles a little bit, but don't expect any dramatic change. This is just something that, you know, it will feel really comfortable under your eyes, especially when you're on a long trip. Now let's talk about a facial cleanser. This one is from Indie Lee. I don't know if you guys have heard about this brand, but this is quite new on Sephora website. And this one is that kind of all natural, you know, the green leaf logo kind of product. I really wanted to try this product because I knew it was a non-foaming cleanser, which I like because it doesn't strip your skin. And especially for sensitive skin, um, non-foaming cleanser is definitely a better choice. I nearly used up half of the bottle and this is all glass. It feels pretty good. I don't think it's that expensive. I think maybe under 30 bucks. I really like the scent of this as well. It got some pretty good ingredients in here. You know, a facial cleanser, it doesn't do that much to your skin. For me, just facial cleanser is all about comfort for me and this one definitely do that. I used to use the Philosophy cleanser from 
like the simple cleanser from philosophy yeah i really like those it's still my favorite but i don't mind trying this and that once in a while and i'm not disappointed by this it does not dissolve your makeup so i only recommend this as a second cleanse or the cleanser in the morning there are also a lot of antioxidants in the ingredients so everything about this cleanser is quite nice and i'm willing to try some of the other products from this line I forgot to mention another AHA. This is not like a skin care products. This is for your body. I don't know if that counts as a skincare or not. This one is a body lotion that has a 10% AHA. So I found it. Let, let, let's be honest. I don't really like the scent of this. I This has the same scent with this AHA. Uh, I really don't like it. Especially when you put on something on your body. It you can smell it you know so i definitely don't like the vinegar scent from this product but it's so useful it's so useful that i have to use it especially you know i have a lot of bumps kind of like feels really dry you know you can see like it's really bumpy under my arms i use this once on my arm and the next morning when it touched my arm it has gotten so smooth i was shocked because I used regular body lotions before and it never does anything particular for like this area and I know a lot of people has this um, maybe some dry patches on, on your body this is extremely good I have two dry patches on my body because you know I sit down all the time the dry patches are definitely gone uh, there is only a little bit discoloration on my butt but you know doesn't matter the next skincare product I want to show you is this Juno Essential Face Oil from Sandy Riley. This one has so many antioxidants in it and it says on the packaging it's a super food for your skin. So I mainly use this for anti-aging purpose. I used to use this UFO Ultra Clarifying Face Oil. Yeah, I am almost done. This is my second bottle. This was my holy grail product before because I used to have a lot of acne and after I have been using this for one year and a half, I don't have any new acne at all. I know it sounds really counterintuitive like you're using oil on acne. You know, usually people who have acne, they have oily skin and I do too. So I have oily skin too, but I still use this facial oil on my face and when I go to bed, my my face is super oily but the next morning everything will be absorbed and I feel like my skin is so balanced you know I don't have my face is not that oily again and I do kind of prefer this scent over the UFO scent because this one does smell a little bit weird I definitely think they're worth the hype in my opinion and this UFO is for oily skin and this one I think anybody can use it this is just super food for your skin the next two products are mascaras and this first one of course is this Glossier Lash Slick Mascara. This one can make your lashes just extremely long and natural and it doesn't smudge. It's waterproof but also really easy to take off. I'm pretty sure everyone and their mother is talking about this mascara so I'm not gonna go into too much details but I do want to introduce to you guys this one. This one is called Pamel, P-M-E-L, it's like a mascara, it's primer, it's primer for your lashes, but it can hold your curls really, really well. So I have really straight eyelashes and it, there's, there isn't too much I can do, but after I found this one, if you curl your lashes and you put this primer on, I guarantee you, after an entire day, your lashes are still curled. It will just hold up the curls. Sometimes when I go to work, you know, I don't want to wear extra mascara. I only use this. This is a clear primer. So if you just like curl your lashes and put this on, your lashes will hold up. So sometimes that's enough for me if I don't want to use mascara. But then, you know, I feel like these two combinations are really good. But do keep in mind one thing that this one uh, after you apply this just apply your mascara immediately because after the primer is dry it you cannot put on any mascara on top of it so just put this on and then right after just just use this mascara and this primer is from a Japanese brand and I bought it from Amazon uh, I know it's a little bit difficult to find so I found you guys a link 
so you can just buy it from Amazon. Okay, so those are all the products that I found and really loved in the past few months. If you have any questions, you know, about the products, feel free to ask me any questions in the comment section down below. And please like this video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye! Okay, so those are all the products that I found and really loved in the past few months. I hope some of the products might interest you and you want to give them a try. If you have any questions just about any of the product that I mentioned, please feel free to ask me any question in the comment section down below. I will answer to your question, I promise. So that's it for today. I will definitely film another maybe project pen in the coming week and hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.